Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Thomas Mark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking more about NordVPN MeshNet. NordVPN MeshNet is a cool feature NordVPN has that is actually pretty unique in the industry. There really isn't that many other VPNs that have this exact feature. I already made a video discussing it when it came out, but I did get some comments saying that I didn't explain it enough, explain what you can really do with it, or even how to use that. I plan on covering all that in this video right now. So guys, as we can see here, we have NordVPN MeshNet. We're going to show you how to connect to it. Basically, what you do is go to the main section of the app, click add a new device, click link external device, turn on MeshNet. Now what you're going to do is basically go on your phone or any other device you want to connect to and pretty much put MeshNet on as well and connect to this server. Once you do this, you will be connecting to your computer through your phone through a virtual server encrypted by WireGuard. So pretty cool, right? For any application that lets you connect from, you know, your phone to computer, you're going to use that IP address and you should be able to connect fairly easily. What exactly, you know, can you do with this? Well, there's a lot of people already coming up from some pretty cool things. One example is you could use Nord MeshNet to connect to a Plex server remotely. Let's say you have a Plex server running on your computer. You turn on Nord MeshNet and then you can remotely connect to that server somewhere else. Maybe you're in a hotel, friend's house, you can connect to your server at your house um, with Norm MeshNet. This guy says he tried it out and works great. So long as both devices have MeshNet turned on, it will work. The non-server device doesn't have to be connected to NordVPN, just MeshNet. He got full HD pass-through on his phone while on self-service, so that's pretty good. So, really nice. Another thing that you another thing that you can do is use this Nord MeshNet feature to connect to your Pi Hole. And how would you do that? Well, just in case you didn't know, Pi Hole is a network DNS kind of ad blocker service that you can put on a Raspberry Pi or even a server that you have. I've done it myself. It's pretty cool, really powerful ad blocking, but it can be hard to manage the Pi uh, Hole and even get its benefits when you're somewhere else so in this example you could install nordvpn on your phone set the mesh net to on and remotely connect uh, to your pi hole and get the benefits basically what you have to do is install uh, nordvpn on your pi hole or your server on the pi side um, you do not even connect to the vpn you just need to enable the mesh feature on so you would turn this on and uh, you type NordVPN MeshNet Peer Refresh and NordVPN MeshNet Peer List from your phone. Go to the settings page and set the IP you got from the list command above at the custom DNS and enable the MeshNet feature. Um, so pretty cool. I'll put this little guide in the description down below as well in case you're looking to do this. Pretty cool. Another question I saw is how would you use NordVPN's MeshNet to transfer files from your computer to your phone? So in this example, you're going to need some kind of file sharing service. Um, you're going to have to set that up. And then once you do set that up, you should be able to use MeshNet to transfer files from your phone remotely to your computer, even if you're not there. Basically, you just use MeshNet to substitute the LAN IP with the MeshNet IP. So depending on what kind of operating systems you're using, there's a lot of different apps out there that use file sharing. So this gives a lot of opportunities to say if you're not on the same local network to use NordVPN's MeshNet feature to share files. So guys, just as an example with Plex, basically it works by being on the same network. So if you're outside of the house, you can't really connect to your Plex server and watch the stuff without setting up some websites and stuff like that. It gets kind of complicated with the reverse proxies, etc. Um, you can actually kind of do similar stuff with TorGuard's private router, but I digress. Um, with NordVPN specifically and this mesh net, as you can see here, I'm actually connected to my computer right now. As you can see on my phone, it says LTE. These are the files on my computer, and I can even show you that uh, by doing a little trick here. Basically, we can show you right here that this is the Plex server running on my native computer. We have these 3D files 
from this guy called Eastman, a really cool 3D modeler. And these are the files on my computer. So my phone is not connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm connected through MeshNet. Um, MeshNet is on the computer. It's um, running in MeshNet on my phone, and I'm directly connected that way. So the power of this is very cool and very useful for a lot of things. So guys, in my last video, I didn't show the full capabilities of MeshNet, and I got some criticisms for that. However, I literally made that video the day the feature was released, and I kind of wanted it to just be a news briefing to discuss the feature itself. Today, I've showed you the full capabilities. I've shown you how you can use it to take advantage of something like Plex, and there are also a lot of other uh, capabilities too with file sharing, game servers, stuff like that. It literally is just your playground, especially with cool things like Pi networking and stuff like that. If you guys need more help, just go to the reddit.com slash r slash NordVPN, search MeshNet in the subreddit, and you can find lots of people sharing their ideas on this feature, which is really nice. If you guys haven't purchased NordVPN and you want to try out MeshNet, click the link in the description and pin comment. It should give you the best go ongoing deal since it can be confusing to find the best price with NordVPN and it will also directly help support the channel. This video is unsponsored, but I did hope it would help you guys figure out this feature if you want to take advantage of it. So let me know down in the comments down below if you're doing anything cool with NordVPN's MeshNet. Anyways, see you guys in the next video very soon.